Here we're going to look at the plant hormone gibberellin. Now if you look at the three plants pictured here in the image and you kind of look at what the difference is between them, well it's the distance between the nodes here, the internode length, and gibberellins do influence the internode length of plants. So as we see here, gibberellins are GA, is how they're abbreviated, um, referred to GA as a short. <clears throat> There's actually more than a hundred known GAs. This subscript denotes the specific GA. So this would be an example of GA3. <clears throat> Remember, subscript is located below. It's known to be essential for stem elongation, and gibberellin or GA causes dwarf mutant plants to actually grow tall. If you have a dwarf mutant and you add GAs to that, you can actually get that plant to return to close to normal height, or at least get taller than its mutant variety. Dwarf plants, on the other hand, <clears throat> are often plants that lack gibberellins, and that's what causes their dwarfism. We see a very classic picture here of some cabbage plants. Um, here's the normal cabbage plants that we see over here, and here's ones that have been applied with GA, and we see how tall they can get, how those internodes between those leaves can stretch to enormous heights compared to the normal. Gibberellins are also involved in seed germination. GAs will induce genes to, to make enzymes that break down starch. Initially, we have our endosperm, that's our stored energy. Well, GAs can initiate the breakdown of that endosperm so it can be used for the seed to initially start the formation of the root and the growing of the shoot to get above the soil. So gibberellins are involved in seed germination in the sense of being able to initiate the breakdown of that food source so that it can start to be used to germinate that seedling. Another thing GAs are used for is can be the effects on grapes, for example. It can be fruit development. See the grapes that are treated with GAs, another very classic picture, are much larger and it looks swelled up basically compared to grapes that were untreated. So if you ever see those large, plump, giant grapes, could be a result of the plant hormone gibberellin.